In today's video, I'm going to show you how to change your brushes inside of Adobe Photoshop. So let's get right into it. So once you've got Photoshop open and ready to go, we're just gonna go over to the brush tool. And if we go down to the colored box in the bottom left corner, we can change the color of our brush. Now this is the most basic look from the brush tool and we can increase the size and the hardness by clicking this box up here. So we can pull the size up. That's a little bit too soft. So we can pull the hardness up to 100% and we have this big black blob. But the problem is there's not much character to this. So if we push the paintbrush folder on the top left hand side of Photoshop, then we're presented with the brush settings and the brushes window. And here you can find many different presets of paintbrushes. So if we go over into brushes, we have general brushes, dry brushes, wet media brushes, and special effects brushes. But if we go back over to the brush settings, then we've got all of these cool presets over here. So if we just go through all of these different presets, you can see all of these look different and all of these are interacting with the canvas slightly differently. If we pull the roundness of the brush down, then we'll have more of an oval shaped brush rather than a circle brush. And this looks really awesome. But we can pull this back up to 100%. We can go through all of these other presets just up here in the top of this brush settings menu and we'll get an entirely different look with all of these presets. Of course, if we go back to the color change window in the bottom left, we can change the color of our brushes and that color will be present regardless of which preset we choose in this menu. Now in brushes, if we go to brush pose, we can change the rotation, we can change the pressure, we can change the tilt, we've got all of these settings. If we go to transfer, we can change the opacity jitter. We can change the flow jitter, and this is gonna change how the brush interacts with the canvas. If we go up to texture, then we're gonna add a texture to our brush. So by pressing this box up here and selecting one of the presets, you can see we now have a texture. We have a pattern to the paint, which looks really awesome. Of course, in this menu, we can change the size, the brightness, the contrast, the depth, and the depth jitter of this pattern on the paintbrush. If we go to the scattering window, then we can add scattering to the paintbrush so we can increase or decrease the scatter. And as you can see, if we pull the scattering all the way up to 100%, then we have this broken look to the paint, which looks really awesome. But if we pull this down to zero, then we have a nice, smooth, even paintbrush. Going back over to the brushes window, if we jump into the wet media brushes, we have this really cool oil pastel look. Take your time to go through all of these presets and go through all of the settings and find a specific paintbrush and a specific look that adds character and style to your work. The paintbrush tool is really powerful and using all of these different settings to your advantage can help you create something really awesome inside of Adobe Photoshop. So take the time to go through all of these settings and find out what each individual preset does and how it interacts with the canvas. And there you go. If you enjoyed watching this video, then please do let me know in that comment section below. And don't forget to subscribe and check out the previous video if you want to see more. See you on the next video.